Happy Friday, Ranger Nation. You made another week. Welcome to the Ranger Week and Review. I'm back from vacation. The show that goes over everything that happened in your old Power Rangers and Tokusatsu. Oh, of course, tons of Ranger news in the merchandise category this week. Tons of merchandise for Ranger news. In Toku, though, oh my gosh, we've got the superhero Senki stuff, so clearly we're talking about Saber. We're talking about Zenkaiser and the merch from that. I've got some Ultraman news, but Revice, guys, Revice has been revealed officially with some pictures and information, and I, of course, have got to go over that as well. All of that and, of course, more, so I hope you're ready. It's Friday. Grab your drink. Kick back and relax. Woo! I'm back. The Ranger Week interview is starting right now. Wait. I missed that one up. <laughs> I'm not doing another take. I'm not opening another beer for another take. So that's just where the show uh, intro is. Thank you again for joining me. I'm Ranger Liz. If you are new here, I'm going to have some uh, title cards up top. I'm going to have some numbers down below if you want to go ahead and follow the show. We talk Power Rangers, Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, and Ultraman. I'm Liz. That's all your bases. Like and subscribe. Something like that. Let's just keep going over to Power Ranger news to start it. Nothing really big in uh, Dino Fury. Nothing really in Ranger stuff except for comics. And, of course, merchandise and convention news. So, comics, last week, I wanted to make sure I mentioned I was off last week. Mighty Morphin Issue 9 is now out at Comic Book Store, so go ahead and take a look for that. Uh, they have to make the right choice to save Angel Grove. Yeah, it's, it's already came out last week, but I wanted to make sure you didn't forget about it. Merch news, however, I what is, I, what is that may never die? Long live Power Rangers and Mighty Morphin specifically. We've got more big figures. So we got some statues coming on the way. This is like the third, second or third variant of these giant figures that we're getting. These are gonna actually be in the one tenth scale. Some of them we had had before, uh, like one sixth scale, so maybe even one twelfth. This is going to be a one tenth scale. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the Zordon right here so you can get a look at how actually big one of these figures are in comparison. There's a lot of interesting detail. There's going to be, if you get all of them, you can make kind of this diorama. It's gonna have all of the rangers, including the green and white ranger and Zordon. If you put them all together, you can see the, the different pieces that I'm showing you here. They include different pieces of the command center, so you put them all together. They look great, right? Awesome. One, green ranger apparently is wrong, but that's just, it always happens. Something about his helmet and his belt. I just saw the tweet and went, par for the course. These suckers, though, however, are going to cost you $150. That is right. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. $149.99. Sorry, my producer was telling me I was off by a penny. We're playing Price is Right rules. It doesn't count tax, but this is, this is what it is. So $150 for one of them, and it includes, of course, all five plus green and white and Zordon. 150 times 8. That's a lot of moolah for yet another one. Now we have the three zero figures, so go ahead and mention that one. They're doing the White Ranger, and those suckers are costing you $120 a piece. Well, for the Green Ranger and White Ranger, I believe, are $120. If you just want the regular ones, those are going to run you $100. If you got I think all of them together, it even gave you a little bit of a discount. So these one sixth action figures for the White Ranger, free shipping coming out in January of 2020. Two, I have a link down below for Entertainment Earth, but you can't find it in a bunch of other places as well as more as uh, more pictures. They just we're just getting a ton of these really expensive Mighty Morphin figures, and I get you know Hasbro's like, hey, we have the brand, go ahead, go ahead, you know, and it takes a few years for prototypes and whatever, but it just sucks. It's like here's even more. I, I wasn't buying them anyway, so I'm okay with that. But let me know what you think about all these expensive figures and if you're gonna be picking them up or not. And then, of course, we got this last uh, bit here before we get to Lightning Clutch. I'm going to talk about Pudgy Pig. I got to talk about Pudgy Pig. But this right here coming out probably today, depending on what time this is posted. Walmart may have already released it, but they are teasing some releases. So for July 23rd, i.e. today, Ninjor. I mean, it's got to be Ninjor, right? Josh, Living Ranger Key, you know, from Lightning Fig PR. Obviously, you need to be subscribed to Toku Topics' his YouTube channel. But he was talking about, you know, there's a Ninjor figure found here we go. This is probably going to be it. Unfortunately, when I'm recording this on Thursday evening, I don't have any more details about it, but it will have the link to the Walmart collectibles page. So it should take you, if you click on that, at least, you know, the next day or two, it should take you right to the Ninja or one, or just go ahead and take a look at it for Walmart. And then keep in mind, uh, Target's going to have their own collector's thing coming out soon. And that's when we think they're going to officially announce Andros in the disguise. 
Lightning Collection news. Let's talk about this guy right here. Let's talk about Pudgy Pig. Now, I really, really dig Pudgy Pig. I got, let me find, I got, I got a pop. I got a pop. Okay, I lied. I don't actually know where my pop for Pudgy Pig is. Uh, my daughter probably stole it. It's up in her room. And that's fine. But we are getting this guy right here in the Lightning Collection, Pudgy Pig. Very excited to get him because Pudgy Pig is one of my favorite villains. It's my daughter's favorite villain. Uh, she's like, let's watch the Tommy, the Jason. Uh, it's usually like the, the Jason old Power Rangers. And she's got to watch Pudgy Pig. And she was very excited to get it. And I'm showing a bunch of these images here. It also comes with a lunchbox. Yeah, I think that's a neat little addition to it. You know, you get the lunchbox. You can put them in it. Or it can just be a nice background because that's what, you know, some of us as kids, you probably had a Power Ranger lunchbox if you're the same age as me. Uh, I don't think, I honestly don't remember what I did. My lunchbox was purple. That's why I remember. It was purple. With some padding in it to keep my, my, you know, pudding cups nice and cold. Anywho, that's another thing. There's going to be a little bit of a price increase for this guy. Now, when we first got the press release for it this week, it was saying that it's going to be 45 US dollars. And that's like, okay, look, normal lightning collection. You're talking about the villains. So I, I got... I got pumpkin wrapper right here. Okay, I paid full price for him. Whenever, what were they like thirty dollars or something? Like I paid full price for this guy. I really wanted to get him, but right now they're just on sale. They're everywhere. Lightning Collection monster figures just aren't really selling. And now I guy is out for pre-release. We have Pudgy Pig. Pudgy Pig forty-five dollars. It's a bit of a hard sell anyway. But here we go. Here we freaking go. They actually posted up to say coming soon, and it is. $54. What? I, okay, you know what? That went from, that went from a look, I will probably get it. Because not just for me, but because my daughter will actually play with that figure, right? $40 is a bit to swallow for a toy that a four-year-old is going to play with. Now, if there's one thing, if it was like a little tykes, a big set, yeah, I'll pay $40 for a Barbie house or something for my daughter. But $40 for one action figure that she's going to play with that I don't really want her to play with at the time because she might break it. Now, you increase the cost. And thank you so much to Ranger Command Power Hour for reaching out and confirming that the original price that they said at $45 was not their accurate one. So, yeah, everybody got excited. Everybody looked 45 bucks to get this and it is wrong the price is much much more so let me know what you think about it are you still gonna get it uh were you i kind of want to know were you gonna pass on it already were you gonna get it and i said i'm not or are you still just gonna get it because you really want or maybe you're a completionist and you're like shit i have to you know i have every lightning collection figure 10 extra dollars not you have to get it and that, that sucks for you guys who are already planning on getting it and to have that extra cost on it but ugh, that's that's it that's it for power rangers interrupting here because i completely forgot to put the actual convention news in the show so for convention news ranger stop and pop is doing a buy one get one free weekend pass sale this weekend only so it will end on sunday but if you want to get in on again it's happening in atlanta august 27th through 29th Atlanta, Georgia, Ranger Stop and Pop. Lots of great actors and actresses are going to be there. And tickets right now are buy one, get one for free. And uh, don't forget, I have a promo code. Just use Liz, all lowercase, L-I-Z, and the promo code, and you save 10%. So that'd be awesome. And uh, yeah, have fun, Ranger Stop and Pop. We're done. We're talking some Toku news, and we've got to start with Ryder and Saber. How about we got some uh, official images for the DX Omni Force and Grimoire Ryder Book. And of course, the Dooms Driver buckle. So, 7,100 yen set for a, j a January, a June, no, a January of 22 release. Pre orders are going to be ending at the end of August, and it is going to be a premium Bandai Web exclusive. This is the one that Solomon and Storius both use. It's crazy that I was like, is that already. How many episodes of Saber do we have left? I don't feel like a lot. I don't feel like a lot. But then we're going to talk about Revice when that's coming out on September 5th. So we still got, at least we got a little, we got a little time. Last bit of Just Saber though, and I've got to talk about Buster. Oh my gosh, Ryu Ogama, uh, Ogami. I love the fact, uh, here's the, you know, the official image or whatever, but he can put the sword on his back and that is just bonkers. I really, really love it. So if you want to get in on that, it's again, it's premium Bandai Web exclusive. 7,100 yen, December release. Get in on those figure arts if you want. Prices are just kind of going crazy. Get in. If you really, if you think you're going to want it, get a pre-order in, man. You're going to just cancel it later or resell it because, again, prices are kind of going up for some of these premium Bandai stuff. 
Now we can talk about Revice. We gotta talk about Revice. We're gonna talk about Senki at the end because that's gonna bridge over into Sentai news. So let's talk about Revice a little bit. Thursday, I did a video just focusing on Revice, but here's the quick details of it. Revice is actually going to be a show of two Kamen Riders. We're gonna have Kamen Rider Revy and Kamen Rider Vice. Now, Kamen Rider Revy is going to be the traditional one. It's gonna be pink and blue, a little cotton candy going on with that. So he's the main one. However, our protagonist makes a deal with a demon the demon inside of him, because there's this crazy thing called the Dead Man Organization, the, the Dead Man Group. Anywho, they're trying to create monsters because they are trying to materialize the demons that are in everyone, and they're called Dead Men. So we have the Dead Man Society, who's in charge of one of them, and they're trying to get demons out of people called Dead Men. This is where we get our new protagonist and everyone. He apparently makes a deal with the demon to help save an important family and in this we're also going to see some of his family main protagonist he's going to have two siblings in there if you want way more information again i did a video on it on thursday or take a look at all the links below thank you to yuki you see common writer official youtube page and token nation for all the amazing write-ups on common writer revice uh the belt is just going to be the device called vice so i don't know and it stamps how i mean to boom you're gonna stamp the things uh, apparently uh the demon one he can have uh modes based on like the t-rex megalodon cactus this is gonna be a little interesting so again if you want more information go check it out think again all the sources and uh i cannot wait for Kamen Rider Revice, let me know in the comments if you are excited as well. If you want to play with your Kamen Riders all the time, how about Tamagotchi? Tamagotchi! Yeah, remember from when we were kids, if you're my age? Anywho, this thing is going to be a premium Bandai web exclusive, already about 2,500 yen, coming out in December, pre-orders and August 17th. You, you start as a character and you level up using some mini games, namely the Rider Kick and Challenge Ride, you will grow and become any of the common riders. There's going to be over 40 different kinds of common riders you can grow into. Showa, Heisei, and Reiwa, so all the different ones, and that is also going to include actually seven secret common riders. Uh, if you want Genesis Green or Legacy Gold, you can get either one. Again, 2,500 yen. Tamagotchi common rider that's fun for the 50th anniversary this is a strange one this it has nothing to do with anniversary or whatever this is just common rider o's Sagozu combo form that has been revealed uh it's going to be 8200 yen premium bandai web exclusive of course set for a december release it's gonna have the gauntlets three o's medals a uh, set of interchangeable hands if you want to go ahead and take a look at more info for that now let's talk about a little retro stuff. How about CSM Henshin Belt Typhoon pre-order date has been announced uh, for that for the 50th anniversary memorial set. Pre-orders are going to be opening on August 4th. Uh, we don't have any details, but it's just saying it's everything's going to be revealed on the same day. So basically, August 4th rolls around. You're going to get all the details about it, price, everything else. So be on the lookout for it. But it's uh, it looks nice. It was actually announced last April. So can't wait to get more information about that. Again, that is August 8th. I'm sorry, August 4th. Then, if you want to see the OG Kamen Riders, it's been eight years, but here we go. Kamen Riders 1, 2, and 3 all showed up together for a big thing. It was Kamen Rider Film Archive Special Night. It was held on July 19th, and uh, again, after eight years, it was the first time all these writers have been together. There's going to be a 4K remastered box set of a whole bunch of the old movies, I'm going to take a look at Yuki to see they'll have the breakdown of all the movies and stuff that are in it. But it's going to run you at 22,000 yen and come out on November 10th. But it's basically anything from 1972 to 1988 and all of the writers. Because writers and the OG writers up there coming back for Superhero Senki. And let's talk about that. Superhero Senki just came out on Thursday. So writers, rangers, it's crazy all these people that are coming back together so uh hiroshi fujioka came back to play common writer one which is just it's always cool in my opinion when you get these old guys back to play it just it just makes you like yeah like it's been 50 years like you can't stop writer like they're they're still kicking literally and figuratively you can't stop writer so i'm very excited for that and he's coming back and if you want you can actually get more information such as uh the theme song and stuff has been revealed I'm going to have a bunch of links because, again, it came out 
yesterday slash today so tons of stuff if you want to check out the theme song trailer but then this is the big one akiba ranger do you, do you even know who akiba ranger is i won't blame you if you haven't it's been over eight years since akiba ranger has showed up in anything they were this unofficial sentai made kind of by official sources sentai people even had cameos on it it was great, but it's been a long, long time. It was June 28th, 2013 was the last time we saw the Akiba Rangers, and they are actually going to be returning for Superhero Senki with an Akiba Ranger gear. I I was already excited for Superhero Senki, right? I was already hyped, and now I'm just like, the Akiba Ranger? Okay, like, let's go, let's go. I Yeah, come on, hit me up, one of our subs. I gotta watch that. I gotta watch that. I keep a ranger. Superhero Senki. And also with that Superhero Senki, about back to uh, Revice a little bit, there was a 23-minute preview kind of movie. Special thing going about Revice. So again, tons of news. That was happening with uh, Superhero Senki. So we're going to be getting tons more news about Revice and stuff as well. So that was Ryder, a bit with Sentai. Let's go ahead and move straight to Sentai. And that is with Zenkaiser Premium. Bandai has announced a die-cast Sentai gear set. Whew. Get your wallet, sell your kidney, whatever you gotta do. It's gonna run you 35,000 yen. So, you know, about 350 bucks plus everything. You can be looking at almost $400 for this set. But if you're like, hey, I really just wanna get every gear at one go, these are gonna be die cast. Uh, it's gonna have every sense I gear, all the way from Go Ranger, all the way to Kira Major. It's gonna have a decorative binder. Each gear is gonna be made uh, in die cast. And Bandai does mention that it might not actually work with the gear tingler. What? Okay, it's a little, little strange. Uh, it's gonna release in January of 2022. If you want, uh, go take a look at it. Many are Metal Man places, uh, Togo Collectibles, Good One, HLJ, places like that if you want to get your pre-order in for it. And then, of course, in Zenkaiser, a little more friendly on your wallet. How about those Yudu figures? Yudu 2. Specifically, each box is going to run you 450 yen, set for an October release. But this Zenkaiser Yudu one, uh, it's it's really cool. So you've got Super Zenkaiser A, Super Zenkaiser B, 2 Kaiser, 2 Kaiser Shinkin form, 2 Kaiser R in form, Super 2 Kaiser Arbor, a Kudak, uh, Stacy and Zenkai Red. That is a killer Yudu box. I'm telling you, again, 450 yen each. Get on your normal places uh, to get those pre-ordered. In other big Sentai news this week, how about the Gal Rangers? You missed those guys. Got two things about Gal Ranger this week. So there's going to be a big special Zenkaiser versus Gal Ranger special battle stage. That's going to be happening from August 1st to November 3rd near Osaka, Japan. And this is the big thing. It's actually going to be produced by Gal Black himself. It's going to feature a group of space bandits that have defeated the Zenkaisers. That said, the first Super Sentai of the 21st century, the Gal Rangers, appear. Are they enemies or allies? Again, more information. Plus, um, you can look at them like doing voice stuff. There's a lot of fun stuff with it as well. But then that showed of Super Gal Ranger has also been revealed. It's a premium Bandai web exclusive. Going to run in 9,900 yen. January 22nd, but it's got the full arsenal. It's got everything. Tons, tons, tons more pictures. Go check out Toku Nation if you want more information. Let's talk about other old Sentais. How about a uh, Hurricane Jer 20th anniversary project? So Hurricane Blue has been, she always, she comes back and does some stuff, but she hints that she was making a Hurricane Jer bento box. Mention how it's the 20th anniversary and how she needs to call up everybody and get ready. So Nothing really official or anything like that, but she's definitely teasing there might be a 20th anniversary project in the works, which I, of course, am very excited for because let's talk about other anniversary projects. Again, how about Go Kaiser, that V Cinema 10 Go Kaiser? We'd heard a bit more about it before, you know, last week, the week before. We found out about the like Go Kai Galleon key, and that's going to be crazy. Well, now I got a lot more information because it's going to have cross armor yeah cross armor uh it's, it's blue and red are both getting some and that looks really neat uh gokai blue of course has got a five-bladed weapon and uh marvelous has got like a giant ship on his chest uh it's gonna be uh released on march 9th uh but it's gonna be available i guess apparently blue blu-ray dvd on the same day as well and you can get the gokai galleon key if you do all the pre-orders but more information because i know when you see the key people are like i don't understand how this works there you go there you go, that's how it works, and you can get your uh, cross armor. 
Ultraman time! Let's talk about Ultraman Trigger. Multi-type official images have been revealed for that. If you want to get the figure, 3,800 yen November release. These things are completely uh, wide, wide release if you want to get them at all. It actually doesn't come uh, with the Zapirian beam, which kind of sucks, but, you know, he can do the pose for it and whatnot. Trigger, uh, we've already had two episodes. Stay tuned later tonight on Friday for episode three. And then later in Trigger, we're going to be getting Haruki from Ultraman Z is going to be coming back and thanks to this picture is he gonna be transforming using a gut spark lens lance lens whatever i whatever either way i'm happy for haruki to be coming back uh use the gut spark lens and the gut hyper key ultraman z original so in early promotional images uh for zet's appearance we just see him holding one in a gun mode and now here he is holding one in an actual tension mode so that's a little interesting be on the lookout for that for common writer trigger and the last little bit of uh, Ultraman, that is Ultraman, uh, Ultimate Shining Ultraman Zero. The official images have th been revealed for that one. 8,800 yen set for a December release. Pre-orders are already open if you want to get it as well. So it's apparently going to be, uh, has metallic coloring similar to the one seen from the web series. is different from the original 2020 release. So this is going to be slightly different if you remember me talking about a different one last year. And of course, I gotta talk a little bit of Gridman, that is Super Robot Wars 30, releasing on October 27th. Super Robot Wars 30, celebrating its 30th anniversary, and SSSS Gridman is going to be there as well. So it's gonna be releasing via Steam on October 27th. Also gonna be releasing in English with English subtitles. So I'll have a link to the, uh, the Steam page, and then it's also going to be released on the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. I can't say, I admittedly, I just grabbed the article. I haven't really got to take a look at anything or the links, but I definitely will be later. Can't wait. I've been gaming a lot lately. I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV. Absolutely loving it and having a fantastic time. And now i got to cut this so I can edit it and go back to playing Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, thanks for staying so much to the end. I really appreciate it. Thank you to my Patreons for sticking with me, helping make this and all videos possible. If you like to learn more how to support the channel, you can check out Patreon. You can become a member. You can check out my Amazon store. Uh, buy a shirt from Teespring. A bunch of different ways like that. But I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite part of the news today. And if no one's told you today, I love you and I think you're awesome. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Toodles. Good Friday.